Welcome in to the Tuesday, August 24th edition of the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, thanks for joining us. I'm going to look at the chart a little differently today. I came in here to do this, and quite honestly, as I started looking at the chart, I just had a block, and it, it made me sit here with it for a while. So I've just been, for the last, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, staring at the chart and looking around at some things. And then I thought, well, let's look at this not from maybe our own personal lives perspective, but from the mundane, the corporate, the collective, our global universal perspective. And I found something interesting that I think you're going to like. I know right now we take any piece of good news, right? Well, I think I've got one here because as we look at today's aspects, there are two that really are what we would talk about. One is Saturn. This is yesterday, but Saturn's trine with Venus is still very much in play. And today we have the direct opposition between Mercury and Neptune. That Mercury-Neptune happens at 9.13 this evening, for those of you tracking on East Coast time, that is, set to. So let's just take that one first, okay? So in the world of the collective, Mercury rules, first of all, communication. It also rules trade and commerce, so basically the infrastructure and transportation. We would also throw the educational system under Mercury, now, Neptune, I'd like to kind of read some excerpts from so this is several websites, and I just kind of did a composite. But Neptune basically is about social movements, especially socialistic political movements. It has to do with hospitalizations, which, of course, are in the news now. Also, collective values, so how we as a collective are thinking. It also rules pharmaceuticals, so the vaccination would come under Neptune. And it says here that it also rules political instability, collapse, elements of distortion, fraud, or corruption. Now, just take that and put it in an opposition and then think of in the collective around communication and education. And again, as I've said, I, I like to frame the opposition as that tense push-pull kind of aspect. It can snap itself together like a magnet, or if you pull that magnet apart, change the polarity, you can't force it back together. Now, this is one teeny tiny aspect in this whole great big complex picture, but you could at least scratch your chin and wonder, could this fast-moving Mercury possibly throw a wrench into the spokes of the deception part of whatever is going on here? And then, see, that gives you, obviously, a lot of framework and latitude then to determine from your own perspective where those deceptions might be coming. Now, I will say that as we fit these two pieces together, this collective socialism, um, certainly around indicating around the vaccination, Neptune and Pisces in retrograde cannot help but to point what that is. It's signifying the vaccination. It is in retrograde. We've been seeing, I mean, the big headline over the weekend was the vaccination's efficacy seems to be being reduced. And that's something that people need to be aware of. And it's been a surprise when Melissa Joan Hart put her video on Instagram. What was it late last week on Friday, Thursday or Friday? She said, we're fully vaccinated and we have COVID and I'm sick. And this was a surprise. Well, there's Neptune opposite Mercury. See, that's a classic example. In other words, the communication that was in the broad spectrum, Neptune, Mercury, got cross opposition to a point of, wait a minute, I shouldn't be where I am. Confusion. Or you could say miscommunication. This is where I say is now I'll let you weave the parts together from your own construct. See, I saw this back when my brother got COVID over the 4th of July weekend. See, eight people together, everybody, 100% of that group that got together got COVID. And nobody thought that they should get COVID. See, there's that axis of unwind. Just don't mess with astrology, people. Just don't mess with astrology, <laughs> see? You can't make, right? Sing it with me. Okay, let's talk about the other aspect real quick, because this one is also equally interesting. Venus 
is in a trine with Saturn. Now, this is pinnacled over the weekend, so they're separating now. Venus, everything that is pleasant and enjoyable to a culture or a society, the arts, entertainment, social pleasures, just having fun again, also rules money and finances. Saturn rules the collective authority, the government, law and order. I found this, that it also governs the national death rate and interesting, life-threatening epidemics. Now, Saturn is at home in Aquarius, and it's trining favorable aspect to Venus, which is at home in Libra. Now, again, Venus moves quickly, so these are not baked-in aspects. These are quick triggers. But might this be giving us a ray of hope? Might this be a window of light that maybe the world could get back to enjoying the things that it used to enjoy, Venus? I don't know. And with the scope of what we have time to do here, there is oh so much more that you would have to look at. But I'm just throwing down some possibilities that are interesting from this chart because it looked like for something, something asked me to look at this chart deeper <laughs> before I keyed the microphone. And I looked at it and I thought, maybe there are a couple of rays of hope in here. I mean, in one little six minute podcast, if we could end the collective deception and we could also get ourselves back to a state where we enjoy life, would you come back and listen again tomorrow? I thought so. And thank you. (laughs) I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just some thoughts, just some random thoughts. We normally don't look at it this way, but we did today. All right. We'll see you back tomorrow for hump day. Bye-bye. 